cooking food at home is kind of becoming an endangered activity in indian homes especially the urban cities there is so much available outside that sometimes in the mad rush we kind of forget that cooking at home brings so much benefits and so many happiness at home Hi everyone I am Kaushiki and today I am talking about home cooked meals and in this video you will see me cooking three meals every day each day and this is one such day in my life Regularly eating home cooked meals can result in healthier and happier children, reduced consumption of less sugar and less processed food. It also ensures that all your family members along with you will have a longer and a very healthier life. The way we wash the food at home the way we are careful of the ingredients the kind of oil that we put in the spices that we take care there is so much there is so much in home cooked meals and the most important ingredient in home cooked meal is the love that goes behind it Let's talk about the importance of eating home cooked meals. One should always cook what they like to eat. I think it is not important to feel the pressure to get fancy just because you are the in charge of the meals. Prepare meals that you like to eat as a family and you'll be more likely to stick with the home cooking we as a family really like to eat mostly vegetarian food but for breakfast eggs are mandatory try to plant a garden and there is nothing more satisfying or nutritious than making a salad from the veggies that you have grown yourself start with a small herb garden or a vegetable garden in your balcony or a backyard there is tons and tons of videos available online how to do so I'm making a quick dressing using olive oil, sesame oil, salt, apple cider vinegar, honey, pepper and oregano. I'll highly encourage you to follow me on Instagram as I share a lot of my daily activities on Instagram. and there is a lot of more contents i post the magic is not always in the ingredient as in japan there is a concept that you eat your food with your eyes so make sure that the presentation of the food is the fanciest of the possible trying using different platters and then just see the magic happening transferring this salad from the glass bowl to this black plate it just enhance the beauty of it i can't stress this enough that planning ahead or doing the meal plan and shopping after taking stock of your pantry and fridge is so important
take your weekly schedule into account and then tailor your home cooking around the very busy days home cooked meals are good for your physical health similarly eating together as a family or with your friends makes everyone healthier happier and gets you more connected to each other these days most of us like to eat in front of tv or either we are running in the mad rush of our lives make it a point that at least one meal a day or even a week you should eat it with your family now make cooking at home should not be just a solo affair make it social cooking does not have to be all by you involve your family and friends into the kitchen and this will not only cut down time but will also save your energy and make making meal at home will be a fun affair now the eggs that you see here this has been peeled and seasoned by ishi and anshuman as i was busy preparing rest of the meals they took the chore they set all the plates and this saved me a lot of time If you are liking this video then please consider subscribing to our channel. I post home decor, DIY, recipe sharing videos and lifestyle videos every single week. I would highly encourage you to keep the basic staples always on hand if you are trying to cook at home. Stock your pantry with most commonly needed items so that you can always have something to cook without needing to shop all the time. I mean how tiresome that can be when you are hungry and all that you want is warm bowl of food. and you don't find much in your pantry to cook with for us rice dal or lentil oil spices are always always there in our pantry you can always enlist help seek out different cookbooks and recipes and expose yourself to diverse cooking styles and discover the way of cooking that works best for you you can always enroll yourself in different cooking classes as well there are several available on whatever you want to cook there are so many youtube videos available all that you need is a little bit of enthusiasm when we are cooking at home we are not only just taking care of how much oil we are putting but also the quality of 
food item that goes in it the way we wash the food to remove all the pesticides and harmful chemicals and i do not need to sing about what pesticides can do to us it took me only 45 minutes to prepare the entire meal and all i'm going to do is plate it in the most fanciest way try adding fresh herbs and spices to your food There is nothing like the freshness that these things add to your food. It may differ from cuisine to cuisine. But yes, the last finishing touch in every meal just takes it to the level next. For lunch, I prepared steamed rice, lentil dal, cauliflower and potato spicy vegetable and then i topped it with some tempering added lots of fresh coriander and then i added the tempering of ghee by seasoning it with lots of cumin seeds and on the final touch I added some plain cut onion and some green chili. That's all you need. And trust me, it was so satisfying to eat this meal in this cold weather. All of us gobbled the whole bowl. I have always seen people going extra healthy when they are trying to cook at home. No sugar, no oil, everything boiled. That doesn't work all the time. Time now and uh, it's pretty cold outside and uh, everyone is craving for some junk food. like some pakoras or something like that so i will quickly make something interesting for everyone while i'm cooking that uh, anshuman and ishi is uh, playing together some some card game or something i don't know trump card or something so i'll head to the kitchen make something interesting for them and then maybe after that uh, we can watch some movie or something so let's go Hey, I can't stress this enough that you need to fall in love with your kitchen. Invest in some basic cooking equipments and develop an organizational system that makes your kitchen a pleasant place. Try and keep it as neat and tidy as possible. I got these potato, onion and garlic storing tins from Amazon. and i'm totally in love with them during diwali time i reorganized my kitchen and since then it has been working for me so beautifully keeping all your canisters and jars labeled will save you so much time and you do not have to hunt everything down in your shelves and if you are someone like me who has a very tiny kitchen organization is your best friend cooking at home at times i feel always connects us to our heritage and this gives you a chance to connect to your family history exploring recipes from your own cultural heritage 
from where me and anshuman come there is a very popular snack called chuda bhuja and that is simple pan roasted flattened rice with onion peas and some seasoning and that is famously eaten with lots of fritters pakoras and some garam chai now what i like to do is i put all these flattened rice seeds nuts everything for dry roasting in my oven at 180 degree c for 10 to 15 minutes and i give give it a stir now this saves me a lot of time i do not have to add a lot of oil and at the same time i do not have to stand a long time just to keep stir frying it so it's a win win for me and i'm quickly making some yummy pakoras and these are all batter fried vegetables now for the batter i'm using chickpea flour rice flour garlic salt water some onion seeds and some carom seeds and some turmeric powder nothing in measured quantity honestly i'm just kind of eyeballing everything and finally adding lots of fresh coriander you can also add some chilies but since ishi was also about to eat pakoras i didn't feel like adding chilies i'm going to fry all these pakoras in light olive oil you can also use mustard oil and in a separate karai i'm going to add some rai some fresh curry leaves some chopped onions and just give it a quick stir fry and then all the roasted flattened rice i'm going to add in the kadhai now i always make a big batch of this flattened rice in the oven and whenever we feel like snacking it i just quickly roast it in the kadhai pakoras are our family favorites and once the pakoras are out from the pan i'm just going to add a little bit of chaat masala it's a tangy seasoning that just gives amazing taste to your pakoras along with this i'm also going to make some nice warm tea i'll add some fresh ginger some fennel seeds now i have powdered the fennel seed you really don't need to and some elaichi powder or cardamom powder and i'm going to add a tea bag add a lot of warm water and a refreshing tea for us is ready i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then do consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this I post every single week on DIYs, home decor and lifestyle videos. And thank you so much for watching.